It's an illegal war, it's a moral war, and it is a war that has been going on for 10 years. It is an unwinnable war. At this point, the Middle East, as you can see, is coming to pieces. The war threatens enormously to become a wider war. Can we, can we equitably look at the possibility of World War III? It is our responsibility, because we started the illegal war, to end the illegal war. It is our responsibility to demand of our respected governments that they end it, that they bring the troops home now, that they stop the killing overseas, and they stop the suicides at home. Because number 12 is the one that's the door. And what point do you stop the door? Number 11 is the one that's the door. And then the chance of the door. And if Blair had the courage to say no, he might have prevented the United States. The friendship between the United States and Britain is extraordinary. And friends need to reprove friends you know, when they drink too we'll much if they, if they commit so crimes. Friends something. need to reprove friends. Friends don't let friends go to That's what I'm doing. Friends don't let friends go to a war. Because I have to put my body at a certain risk. You know, we send people to war. Do they have at a personal risk and human equity, and I bet you do, and it's an extraordinary price to pay. So we're just trying in our own simple way to put our bodies on the line for peace. A little, have I been what? I've been to Northern Ireland in the 70s, I've been to East Timor, I've been incarcerated close to five years in the U.S. prisons over the last 30 years. I've been incarcerated close to five years in U.S. prisons over the last 30 years. Peaceful work, brother. Trespass. They take it serious in the States. I'm telling you, they're not well proud. I'm sure you do. And I'm sure we're going to be treated politely, and we're not going to be any problem to you violently or any kind of threat to you. And you know that. All right. And we'll show that. And you know, you know until we show it to you. Try us. We'll be good guys. But we're not moving on our own accord. We're not going to willingly take away our words. And our our reckoning, our words are going to be backed up by how we act here. What we do with our body. The little personal sacrifice, human equity on the line. Not even close. Not even close. No, I don't. You're kind, but you're just flattering me, I know. No, 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 no. Well, that man should be honored, that young man, instead of being locked up in solitary confinement in human conditions. We need your help. Help us free Maddie. <laughs> so in the last three decades, we have perhaps been wealthy enough that the price for civil resistance and nonviolent civil disobedience in the Western democracies has not been extraordinarily, extraordinarily high. When you look at what was suffering at those people who pulled off the rebellion in Egypt and what they suffered, how many of them were killed on the spot. When you look at what can be demanded of people, it is really up to us. It is up to us to begin to speak out for democratic change, for humanitarian values, for simple human rights that are already enshrined in law. Remember that the Bush administration did away with the Geneva Conventions, said it didn't have to apply the right of habeas corpus to foreign prisoners. This is the assertion of tyrannical authority on the leadership, on the part of the leadership of the Western democracies. It must be decried and it must be stopped. So we can only ask you, as you look at this way, all the affairs of these people, to continue to think about joining them yourself. In their hands and say, ah! You who would destroy the temple, rebuild it in three days. Save yourself by coming down from that cross. Torture, insult. Likewise, the chief priests with the scribes mocked him among themselves and said, he saved others, he cannot save himself. Let the Messiah, the King of Israel, come down from that cross. That he may see, believe, that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also kept abusing him. He had no friends. No friends. We're here today because Bradley Manning, a British citizen, an American citizen, a member of the American military, 
has been tortured. 300 days he's been tortured for one reason only. He released this footage called Collateral Murder. Look it up on Google it. Of the massacre of two Gordish journalists, nine unarmed Iraqis, killed them. And the family was on the school run to see if they could save anybody. The American military killed that father and wounded the children. Bradley's accused the police in this footage for WikiLeaks. He's been tortured. They want to break him. We put that Julian Assange. He's been held here by the We're demanding the freedom of Bradley Manning. We're demanding an end to this war without end for the people of Iraq and Afghanistan. This war on Iraq has killed over a million Iraqis, mostly women and children, according to the Lancet report. Mostly non combatants. 4,000 young Americans have come home in body bags because of this war. 20,000 have come home with injuries so serious that they'll never walk or talk again. The consequences of this war are in your streets. We know that during the Vietnam War, the more Vietnam veterans committed suicide than were killed by the Viet Cong. We know. The Falklands War. The more British veterans committed suicide than were killed in that war. We know that 10% of the prison population in this country are more members of the British military. These young men are doing Free Bradley Manning! 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 We alone who can make peace. There will not be peace in the world until those who believe in peace are willing to put their bodies on the line. We need to start measuring our lives in the same way people who go to war a lot of human equity and personal sacrifice. Many come back and are wounded in all different ways. Some don't come back at all. They leave their homes, their families for a cause they believe in, tragic as that may be. If you believe in peace, you can't just talk the talk. You gotta walk the walk. A little human sacrifice, human equity. And that means confronting our law and our lawyers in the legal system to say, get it right. Stop backing the war criminals. And the only way we can do that is to go to court and do civil disobedience, a grand tradition of democracy. You all started it, we picked it up in the States. And it's something that makes this democracy possible. Without it, we're doomed. Every one of us has a responsibility for peace, brother. Someday you'll be asked to pay a price. Do it nobly for what you believe. If you believe in peace, don't just talk it, walk it. Peacemaking is done by putting your life on the line, breaking smaller laws to bring into life the criminal laws that are being broken by the ups to run this country. That's what we're doing here. There's nothing to be scared about here. Democracy is all about, young lady. I'm grateful and honored to be able to do this in front of you. Because this is what we're all about. People putting their lives on the line, doing what they believe. We're not just talking peace today. We're going to put our bodies on the line, they're going to take us away. Our words will be amplified because we put a little human equity and personal sacrifice behind them. Well, by the US military. You join the military because they're working poor during the military to get college tuition. It was put in Iraq and stumbled across footage of a massacre of two British journalists, the blind Iraqis. And when the family came to see if anyone was survive, the order came down to kill that family. Now he stumbled across this footage and was two years old when he found it. He went to his commanding officer and said, This looks like a war crime. The commanding officer said, Ignore it. He's been accused of linking that to WikiLeaks. And that's been published by the New York Times, the Sp Spiegel, uh, the Guardian, many newspapers. They want a son. They want a son to head of WikiLeaks in jail for life or to be killed in life. They believe they can break Manning, but look at a son that can do that. Manning is not broken under 300 days of torture. His prison conditions are nothing but torture. He is stripped naked every night. While he's asleep, if he turns to the wall, they come in and put him in a stress position. Put his arm over his head. They 
Was erzählt er denn?